Hello everyone, my name is Ajaj Patel and you are watching Ajaj Patel official YouTube channel. Welcome to the part 1 of e-learning website development in PHP with PDO. So guys, this is a brand new course of e-learning website. Uh, so in this course, we will learn that how can we create a website like uh, e-learning. So first of all, we need to understand what is e-learning system. So it's e-learning is a simple way to learning from the internet online. So here we will upload uh, user can upload some courses and then uh, the other user will be buy uh, will be able to buy that courses and he can learn from online so let's get the quick overview of our website which uh, will be created in this project so this is the website of our project so here is the company logo is coming here so for now it doesn't have any logo so just we simply write that here e-learning so this is our quick link options these all are dynamically come uh, comes from the database so just look at here facebook twitter and all the sharing option of our website so this is the menu of our website this is a different different uh, category like development designing then uh, media then social media marketing and something like that so you can add the dynamical category from here so and this is the subcategory of that dynamical category coming from the database and this is also coming from the database these are search bar so you can search anything from here if i write a and then search so it will be displayed three courses are found with the a tag okay so come back again into the website home page so just look at here, uh, this is the cart option and this is the slider, sign up, login. Here user can, user can able to sign up and login. And just uh, move down from the bottom. So just look at here, here are all the our categories available. So recently I added only 5 categories from here. So you can just see that development, designing, marketing, music, business. You can add any category as per the user requirement so in these all categories the different different courses are available so just look at here in development we have a four course in designing we have a two course marketing zero music zero and business zero uh, these all are zero that's why this quantity uh, this all categories doesn't display here and we only display these two category dynamically just because these two uh, category have some different different courses so just look at your top courses section so here the different different courses are available from the different different categories so just look at here these all are dynamically coming from the database the, this discount this image this title price teacher some all are coming from the database so when I click on this one so just look at here here is the course detail is available so who is the instructor of this course how many students enroll this course uh, what's the level of this course it's a beginner for uh, for the beginner or intermediate or expert level courses so and the, what's the language of this course is and how many lectures are coming in this course okay so when i come back again home and select a different course like this one so just look at here we have a five lecture from here and the price will be this but the main price is this and after discount we add this price so you can save that one so just look at here add to cart and buy now option available also user can able to sell this course on online media uh, online social media just look at here whatsapp twitter facebook google plus something like that and if we <coughs> scroll bottom so just look at here here is the course details are available total course this detail is available from here what will we learn and before starting what these all are coming from the database uh, we doesn't need to write anything from here and this is the instructor information just look at here this is the uh, instructor image and instructor information available here and you can catch the inst if you like that instructor then you can catch your catch it 
on different different social media network something like facebook google twitter youtube uh, if uh, instructor have a youtube channel then you will when you will click on this one so you can directly redirect to the his youtube channel and it, uh, this one is for his website so just look at here uh, in curriculum we have five lectures with the different different names so just look at here and inside uh, of the right side we have a uh, related courses just because this is the e-commerce website development so we have these three different different courses are related to this category so we can see that one from here so just look at here when i click on this one so it will be changed differently dynamically just look at here and this is a crumb so just look at here if you want to go into development just because this is a development course and web development or and the name of the course okay so this is the course detail page and if i want to add this uh, course into my card section so when i click on this one so just look at here observe here here we have a one in our cart okay so let's try to add some more so when i click on this one so just look at here so now this is the card of, uh, card page so just look at here these are two different different courses are available in my card just because i select that card so just look at also here the language is english and hindi 50 dollar 90 dollar 140 dollar okay instructor name are coming from here come back again here and when i click on this one and directly when i click on buy now button so it will give the message like please log in or sign up then you can continue okay so when i click on ok and then now uh, let's try uh, take a quick overview of this development and this category section so when i click on this development section so just look at here here is a subcategory available web development in web, uh, in development if i add some more like uh, php and then when i say wordpress or or something like magento and something like that so it will be displayed from here but recently i had done only one category from here so it will be displayed from here okay so developments and inside development we have a web development courses so just look at here if you want to see all the web development courses then you can click on this one and also you can click on this one so you can will uh, you will be directed on the web development all courses just look at here here is the crumb home then development and then web development if i want to again come back to the uh, development then i can also click on from here and also from here so uh, this will be also redirect to your uh, uh, course detail page <coughs> and on the left side just look at here in web development we have a four paid courses we doesn't have any uh, courses free from here so just look at this now and we have a three english courses if i click on this one so just look at here into chrome home development web development paid courses so these four are paid courses i am going to again development web development and then come back here so just look at here we have a course by languages option so th these all these all are be used for the filter okay so just look at here english so inside english we have a three courses and in hindi we have a one courses so when i click on this english one so just look at here three courses are available here okay and then i click on hindi one then this will be open and this is the level course by level if some student are beginner level some are intermediate and some are expert and this one will will be for the all level okay so when i click on this beginner level so these two courses are displayed here so simply uh, the meaning of this uh, section is to filter the user by the courses okay so let's come back from home so i am coming to uh, home from here i can redirect directly from here also when i click on this one so it will be redirect me on here okay also i am going to just look at here when i go to development so it will be redirect me to the development and if i will be redirect this one okay so uh now 
let's try to sign up one user from here so if i said a b c d okay a b c d at rate gmail.com and then i enter 7698906619 password is 12345689 12345689 if i enter something wrong from here so it will be give me the error from here okay so when i click on the sign up button so just look at here please my request from at least we need to enter uh, more than five character or something like that so let's say a b c d x y z and then i click on sign up so just look at here registration success okay so now uh, we will uh, just uh, we need to try to log in with the that email abcd at the rate gmail.com and the password is 12345689 okay so just look at here this is a fresh user so just look at here that uh, two products will be coming from here which will is was be uh, add in our cart as a guest user so when i log in into this system so it will be added into my user card okay so just look at here and now if i log out from here so just look at here this cart is now doesn't have any product when i click on this one so no product found in this card just because we log in log out and that two courses are added into the this user account so for that reason he uh, from there he doesn't have any courses okay so let's come back here so if i want to try let's try to first of all buy something from here add to cart okay not uh, no need to add to cart from here just simply come back here buy now option so it will be redirect me into the checkout page okay so just look at here now if i want to keep shopping then if uh, i'm going to back from here so that course automatically added from my cart just look at here so now let's remove this one from here so it will be remove okay try to buy this one so here is the option available paypal this is a payment gateway so when i when you click on this paypal option so it will you will be redirect directly from the paypal account you need to enter your address and then next and then you can purchase that course when you purchase that course then you need to redirect directly from my course section just uh, let's take the overview of our uh, my account okay so just look at here this uh, user doesn't have any profile for that reason by default these image are coming from here okay so this is the option available here my account change password and my courses so this user doesn't have any courses and also doesn't have any picture profile picture and if you want to change the password from here you can also change the password from here dynamically also from name mobile number and profile picture let's try to upload a new profile picture from here so if i going to come back uh, into my download section images and then if i select this one this image and try to open it and update that one so just look at here now my image is coming from here just because the up, uh, image are uploaded successfully and now we see only user can buy the course but also we have one option that user can be create his courses as per his uh, skills so just look at here here is the option available become a teacher okay so when i click on this one so this is some rules are coming from here so just look at here these are rules if you accept that rules and then say yes i accept then you can become a instructor when i click on this accept button so just look at here congo you are now instructor okay when i click on this one so this is the instructor dashboard just look at here uh, some designing problems are occurs here so we need to fix it don't worry we will be fixed into the r project so let's try to log out and here i have one account with the dashboard 
option so I'm going to log in with that account okay not one from this I think that will be just what day 199 at red gmail.com one two three four five six seven eight nine okay so just look at here this is a teacher so when I click on this one so just look at here this teacher have uh, this teacher create uh, how many course one two three four five and six course okay so just and seven course so just look at here the course price is this uh, displayed from here unpublished course status are available here published or unpublished how many students enroll this course how many total earning coming from this course how much okay and if you want to edit this course from here just look at here if I want to edit this one so just look at here course title course images course goal and something like that okay so is the restriction available here and I'm going to refresh that one if I change if I want to change the name from here so if I say that uh, PHP with uh, oops and when I click on this save so just look at here this is save now and now let's try to open this one from the this one click on this so just look at here here our name are now change php with oops okay so just look at here this and if i if i want to change the image of this uh, course so i can also ch change the image of this course uh, as same way we can set the course description here just look at here this is the description of our course so what will student start before so that one you must have a knowledge about PHP so just look at here yeah that one will, will be coming from here dynamically just because our instructor set that one from here as same way this one is also coming from there this is the course detail which is coming from here you can see that this course is about how to develop e-commerce website in PHP and also just look at here about how to create the uh, let's try to change from here and say oops okay and then save that one so just look at here this this is now save now let's try to refresh this one so you can see that from from here php with oops okay so course edit section now we can set the course language just like uh, what the language will be it will be english or hindi or any any other language if admin add into the this system then that will be displayed from here okay also you can set the course level from here you can see that here is a all level but now if i change this one to beginner level and save that one so you can see that now beginner level you can see that yes okay and then now if i want to change the category of this course so if i say the music marketing so just look at here marketing have a, a subcategory SEO so when I click on this save so just look at here now if I refresh that one so just look at here all are changed now here is marketing SEO okay so let's uh, get back to the development and web development web development also have uh, these options PHP ASP something like that when I click on this save now now when i again refresh this this one so just look at here development and web development as the same way user can set the price of this course if i want to set the this course price um, something like uh, 100 if i said 20 dollar and i want to give the discount like uh, 95 person and this course will be public or private as per instructor requirement he said to the private or public when i click on this save one to so, so, so just look at here and when i click on this refresh now so just look at here course price is uh, 20 per, uh, 20 dollar but we have a 95 percent discount so it, it will be in one dollar okay again i'm coming back from here 
and say 100% and 90% uh, discount and I am going to click this save okay so save this one so just look at this now now it is available with the $10 okay so as same way we can uh, here it is the most important part of this section so just look at it. here you can add the lectures from here video lectures just uh, like you see the videos tutorials on the youtube.com just as same way you can set the videos from here so just look at here here we have a video lecture videos you can see that okay so lecture name instruction so just look at here that name will be coming from here instruction quick overview folders something like that edit content if I want to add the uh, one lecture again and say um, something like uh, including including files okay and if I select the video, small video from here, I have some small videos. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. Yeah, this video is too small, so I can add this one. So just look at here, including file, six number lecture. Okay, and then just look at here. Here that video is coming from here. Okay, and now uh just look at here here we, here we have five but we refresh that this will be the six just look at here including files but before buy user cannot see that videos from here just because if user want to see the lectures these lectures then he need to buy the course okay so just because this is my course so i doesn't see any buy now or add to cart option this user course is this now so you can see that this course is for this user so we doesn't have to any button to buy now or something like that so just look at here all the lectures are for this user okay so this is the dashboard uh, and also from here you can uh, create a course something like uh, if I want to create a one course like uh, how to um, create a YouTube channel okay when I click on this create now so just look at here this is now create from here and now you need to edit that course before you upload that from the this website so when you will upload this course so then you you need to submit the course from here then the admin will be take a overview of your course and he will see the lectures of your course and then if he active this course then automatically that course coming from here into our website before that that course will be doesn't appear from here okay so come back again to the dashboard but here one thing user uh, instructor doesn't allow to delete the course just because if some students are by then uh, after that the instructor delete that course so we can't do that so instructor doesn't allow to delete the course after publishing okay so this is the about a section of the website owner some just look at here okay so now um, this is the overview of our e-learning website user site and in next tutorial we will take a quick overview of our um, admin site so just look at here i'm going to show you that admin panel from here mm, localhost e-learning slash admin okay so this is our admin panel so we will take a quick overview of that admin panel into the next tutorial so guys thanks a lot for watching see you in next tutorial 
Don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel just because it is very important for you. When I upload the new videos, then you can get a direct notification into your inbox. So guys, thanks a lot for watching. See you in next tutorial. Stay connected with me. Stay tuned. Goodbye.